The Will Advocacy Partnership is an attempt to bring together all the um, resources um, as regards advocacy services on the Wirral and give them a common theme um, and a shared vision about how advocacy can imp drastically um, improve the lives um, in normal circumstances of vulnerable individuals. Um, and I think the strength of the advocacy partnership is that um, you know, it's enabled the local authority to pool the resources of advocacy organisations but still retain the independence of each organisation to independently deal with the, their respective client groups. It brings together the agencies uh, that are involved in delivering advocacy uh, in Wirral. Um, we have a steering group um, of which I'm, I'm a member uh, and the other agencies send representatives, sort of usually managers or, or people who manage the organisation. Um, and then at the other level we have the advocates who get together um, and again shared learning outcomes really, some opportunity for some peer support, um, some collaborative working, some, some pushing forward really, um, lots of opportunities. Um, you know, issues like safeguarding are so important um, for the sort of clients that we, we work with and we deal with, whether it's adults or children. Um, you know, the opportunity to share experiences amongst the agencies is, is really useful, particularly for the advocates. Um, the, what we're really trying to do in the Department of Adult Social Services is provide services and commission services that people need. And there's no way of finding out what people need unless we listen to them. And because we're quite often providing services to people who uh, are not the most vocal in the community, it's really, really helpful to have people who are there to support them, to speak out for them, and to support them to speak out um, in ways that perhaps they wouldn't do without somebody supporting them. So that's, that's a really useful way for us to hear the views of individuals. Um, and obviously as a group, uh, advocates, when they get together, they can inform things strategically as well. So that's really helpful to us, I think. Part of the um, rural advocacy partnership f for, for our organisation is important because it's, it, we need to be able to collaborate effectively with other, other advocacy organisations to share information, see what's on the horizon, work effectively together where we can, um, and, and to have a, a, a way of communicating effectively with, uh, with DAS, who, who fund so many of us. A group of people who provide advocacy in one place um, we, can, we can have a consistency of approach so everyone that's at that meeting knows what the view of the Department of Adult Social Services is, it's not diluted in any way, and then we hear from everybody and there's often quite interesting discussions about how people interpret different things, but we do come to a, a consensus, don't we? So I think that that's probably the biggest value from us, that we can, we can speak directly to the organisations that provide advocacy and we can do it in a consistent way.